Today you will see everything I did to transform my bedroom. Painting, DIY wallpaper, we also went shopping, and I made a lot of decor. I share ideas to style a bedroom on a budget. You'll also see some tips to update your stairs. I will show you how it all came together. My name is Devin. Welcome to Freckled Mom at Home. If you like cleaning and decorating, go ahead and subscribe. If you've already subscribed, I'm super grateful. If you're new to my channel, you might not know we live in a very old house. We have a two-story cottage that was built in 1925. We have done a lot of renovation, but this room has not been touched. We did take all the wallpaper down. There were about three sets of different wallpaper. Not sure how old it was, but it was pretty bad and it left our room in somewhat of chaos and I decided it was time we are going to redo this and we had quite a job ahead of us. So first this is a tip that was given to me by my best friend. Her husband owns his own painting company and he suggested to use oil-based paint as a primer and this was so that none of the glue from the old wallpaper comes through the new wallpaper if that makes sense so here i am just painting away and i am starting my wallpaper i am doing two different kinds of wallpaper i'm doing an accent wall which is going to be behind my bed and this is what you can see here this is a beautiful wallpaper i love how it matches everything that I picked which you'll see I had gotten peel and stick wallpaper which is easier when you think about it but at the same time I would rather have gone and done the real wallpaper if I was to do this all over again but it definitely was easier if you were to just do one single wall for the remaining walls in this room, I decided with a faux shiplap, and I think it is super cute, super pretty, although here is my tip for you. I read on the internet when you're doing wallpaper, you should overlap the edges, the seams, overlap it a little bit, like a centimeter or so. I didn't do that. and. As the days have gone on now, I have noticed it separating a little bit, which I am not too upset about. As you saw from the beginning, this was a salvage procedure. This just needed something to cover it up so our walls wouldn't crumble on top of us while we were sleeping. But if you're going to do this, definitely pay attention to the advice online and overlap your seams. When you buy the wallpaper, the peel and stick, there are some tools that are ready to go for wallpapering and I suggest you get them. They're just a simple little scraper and flattener. I don't know what the names are, but they come in a little kit right next to the peel and stick wallpaper. Make sure you get that. It definitely saves time and energy when you are cutting the excess wallpaper off. Now getting behind the radiator was definitely a chore. It wasn't as hard as I expected. I just got a little roller and as you can see, I'm just rolling down the paper behind the radiator. So it's not that bad. I managed it. So I have faith you can do it too. I had gotten a lot of paint on the floor and I thought it was gonna be easier to get off. It definitely took me um, like a whole day. And I use mineral spirits with a butter knife and a towel wrapped around it. And I just went to town and put on some music and made a day of it. So definitely put down tarps when you're painting with oil-based paint. These stairs get pretty beat up with us and the dogs walking over it all the time. So I just used some leftover wallpaper I used on that accent wall. And I just wallpapered the back of the stairs to freshen it up. This is super cute and super easy. Give me love, give me all your love, oh, cause I want you. No one else makes me feel this way, don't know what you do. Hold my hand, could you hold my hand? That's all I 
swear that I'll stay here with you. To stick with the colors that I chose for the wallpaper, I did pick this color. It's made by Bayer. It's called November Skies, and I refinished this nightstand here and I turned it into a little reading nook. I've always wanted a reading nook in my bedroom and now I have one. It was just a nightstand and now it's a reading nook. So you can definitely transform pieces into something different. And here I am, I am just taking all the tape off and putting the hardware back on. I didn't do anything with the hardware because I actually liked the color of it. I wanted to bring in a uh, coastal feel mixed with cottage, mixed with a little bit of vintage. All my favorite things. Like I said, my husband was on vacation, but I definitely had help from the kids, so I am grateful for that. It was a super hot day and I brought out a couple of our side tables and I refinished those using that same color, November Skies. I love this color. I think it is super pretty. It can go for coastal or beachy or cottage or shabby chic. I, it could really fit into any style. I just think it is so pretty. And it's time to get cleaning, guys. So I have... Like I said, it's an old house, so I have these little nooks in here and I wanted to style this and make it more functional. We have a habit of just leaving everything over in this corner when we're coming into the room or going out of the room. And so I definitely wanted to make it a little bit easier. So my husband has a spot to grab and go things when he's ready for a job. And so here we are looking for some bins. I love storage containers. And so I definitely wanted to get a couple new ones. I also wanted to look for a chair for the reading nook. And then I wanted to get some new pillows and some new sheets just to freshen up the room a little bit. I did stop at a local carpet store, C&J Carpets, to get a carpet. The owner, Joe, was so helpful, and this carpet cost me $100. I was looking at carpets online for $400 and some carpets at the other stores for $200. So definitely shop small. That is the way to go, and you're going to make some great connections in your community. Here is where I thought I could do this all by myself now. I am going to move this bed and get this rug in here and I'm going to do it all by myself. And then Miko and Ginger decided they were going to help and that wasn't too much help because he's a big puppy. So needless to say, I needed help for this next activity and I needed to wait for some kids to get home. It's summer, they're out enjoying themselves while I'm doing all this crazy extreme bedroom makeover but I wouldn't have it any other way this was so much fun and I am vacuuming up my room with the dogs you just have an abundance of hair and I am deciding how to put that rug in here and my husband always tells me to measure first and I don't always do that guys so definitely measure before thankfully it just fit and I, yes, this is how I vacuumed my rug because I couldn't move the bed and I was waiting for the kids. So I just figured I'll vacuum while I wait. And this was, you know, I did it. So when you're alone, you figure out ways to get things done. And then my son came home and we got in the room, we moved the bed. He definitely helped me. This was so heavy and we got the bed in, we got the rug in. We got a couple of our bulky furniture items in, so I am super grateful, like I said, that I had all this extra help. William Mark's second shift now, so I was waiting for him to wake up to help me with the nails in the wall, and he did a great job, except this one was a little off-centered. He thought it was fine, I didn't, so I went back and I fixed it. And, but I am grateful that he helped with the other ones, which you'll see later on. It's here guys, it's almost done. 
I am so excited. <laughs> like literally everything is done except for like putting the sheets on the bed and moving a couple of things around. I'm tired, I'm excited, I am super proud of myself. You know, it's just exciting. If anybody is an, a creative person, you know how it feels when you do something that, you know, you write a new poem or you write a new song or you paint something, you just feel like so good about it. So that's how I feel every time I'm crafting, you know? So that's obviously why I started a YouTube channel and why I'm always crafting <laughs> because I am finally able to like be myself again. So since I got sick, that is a completely like different story. Like before I would take on any project and I do anything alone. And then after I got sick, I really relied on my husband and kids and anybody who was with me to help out for whatever I was doing. And it's, it's, it's hard, you know, when you rely on other people, it's, you know, sometimes it's a shitty feeling, you know, and I've gotten used to it. You know, I don't feel when I ask for help. It's just, I want to do stuff on my own, you know? So when my husband said he was going on vacation and I decided to do this, I really thought this was going to be like a two day or like, this was going to take me like two days change out some linen, change up the wallpaper, and that would be it. Here I am, literally five days later, just finishing up. And I don't care how long it took me because it is amazing. This is literally the coolest bedroom I've ever been in. Like, so for me to say like, it's my bedroom, like, oh my God, I might start crying guys. Woo, just so excited. So I made all my own wall decor I went online and I looked up stuff that I thought was like really cute and then to I, my style, you guys know I definitely am not um, a stylish person, but I have my own kind of style. And with the colors that I was doing in here, it's definitely different. And then I found some and stuff and, and I looked around the house for things that would look good in here and maybe... You know, I haven't really looked at it because it was in another room. So I'm just really excited and I think you guys are gonna really like it. And so, and the kids want me to do their rooms now. So I know I did a good job when the kids say, you did a good job, mom. So I'm excited. So, so it's time to decorate and I am in love with all of these pieces of decor that I made. I made a whole video on my freckled mom DIY channel so if you want to watch the full tutorial on how to make these items that I made go ahead and watch that I'll have that linked in my description and also at the end of this video and this was a super cute little tray I made my husband has all these little colognes he likes in our chapstick and I just think it was super sweet and a definite needed area to add a little bin this is a tight little area and I wanted to fit a lot of stuff here so this was perfect and I'm just arranging everything the way I like it these are books that we have out to read and notebooks that we need my husband has some business related items in here so I wanted to keep this area nice and organized for him and then I had some old decor that you guys know me I'm a little bit of a hoarder so I keep everything and I just gave everything a nice little refresh. That mirror I actually found in the basement. I'm not even sure where it came from, but it is perfect. And I'm just going through now and doing some touch-ups. I love it right here. I've never had a stand-up mirror in my bedroom. So I got some vintage books at the thrift store. And I use that to prop up my mirror. This is just one of those mirrors from the dollar store. And I just love it. You'll see after. It is super cute. And now I'm getting ready for my new bedding. I had washed everything. And I was just waiting. Oh, waiting for that not to fall. <laughs> and I made those as well. You're going to see that. This was a little box that was actually it's a pretty big box out in my garage. And I added some felt pads to the bottom of it and I turn this into my hamper and I think this is super cute and it just is a nice reminder that you can use vintage items and still have it with what you're using for decor right now 
and it's just a nice way to tie everything in together. I have, again, some more wall decor here. You can watch the full video on Freckled Mom DIY. These are super sweet. I think they go with my decor. If you were to buy this, I definitely think this would be pretty expensive. But I made it, so it definitely was items that I had around the house, so it didn't cost me anything. And I'm just going to add in all these pillows. I think for a cozy bedroom, you definitely need pillows. You need some really soft pillows and abundance of them and some colors. And I am totally in love with how this is coming together. I love these blues and then add in the browns. I think it just reminds me of that vintage feel that I wanted. And I have a problem. I definitely have a problem. I have way too many blankets, way too many pillows, and I don't see anything wrong with that. I am just getting everything ready now. This little reading nook is adorable. I just love how everything came together. Again, that's a Target lamp, so that was a brand new item. And I mix that in with items that I already had around my house. Whenever you're decorating, you always want to go through your house first to see what you have before you go spend money on new items. That little box I bought a cut last year from Home Goods, and I had some clothes and I returned it to get these adorable candles that smell so good. I am so in love with this. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up down in the comments let me know what your favorite part was today do you need a room makeover if you were inspired by this video to redo your room or change up your bedding or maybe add a little coziness for fall please let me know and also consider subscribing I have a lot coming up don't forget to hit the bell so you'll be notified every time I post a new video you can find me on Instagram as freckled mom Another way to support my channel is buymeacoffee.com. That link is down in my description. Also, the link to my Freckled Mom DIY channel is down in my description. If you haven't watched the full video on how I made the decor, go ahead and watch that video now. You will not be disappointed. If you like crafting and DIY gifts and decor, go ahead and subscribe to that channel as well. I look forward to seeing you guys soon and I appreciate you for taking the time to hang out with me today. Give me love, give me all your love, oh cause I want you. No one else makes me feel this way, don't know what you do. Hold my hand, could you hold